since the uh, primary audience of this channel is uh, males, or well, at least I presume it is, we're going to talk about being a man. And uh, I don't want to sound like one of those red pillars or anything like that, but the importance of being a man and how maybe we should redefine it instead of being alpha and sigma and all these new terms that we have and rather think of it more as a, a way of being more noble, being more kind, being like a gentleman, but you know, a gentleman that can hold it down at times, a gentleman that is calm and doesn't always have to lead. However, that would be a good skill to have because as crazy as the world is and how like there seems to be some kind of like gender war out there, um, which I actually don't know why people are this bored to start this whole thing. Um, but apparently so as well. And I think it definitely kind of leads a lot of people astray from who they really want to be. And again, since it is your life, it's your kind of rules in a sense where you get to do what you need to do. But you need to be mindful in terms of how you're, how you're being portrayed to the outside world to some extent. And also, are you really doing things out of love? Are you really doing things out of just to prove a point and being stubborn? Let's try and improve the world one step at a time. So being a man, um, obviously the traditional be a man is you know the breadwinner the one who takes charge the one who basically does everything in a monetary sense which yeah it's it's important to have those skills nowadays but i think we shouldn't just focus on that as being a man a man is again if we're going to kind of take off take on the example of being a caretaker for example this goes beyond just work it goes to the point of maybe learning how to cook maybe delving into the different arts that life has to offer and that car was crazy. All of those things, because again, if we want to create a better world for, say, the next generation and things like that, you're going to have to be a man and show and lead by example in terms of how strong and how capable you are. Because again, you're going to be given these, you know, potentially physical attributes that you may have. And again, you don't have to be any gender for that to be the case. Although, typically, obviously, it seems like it's more specifically towards the you know male population side of things. So you can use this prowess to your advantage in a sense because you can play towards the strengths that you have. I like to think of life like a deck of cards. You're you're basically given what you've got. You can't pick and choose. So if you're given more kind of you know, and the attributes, physical strength, you can use it to your advantage. You can use that to, I don't know maybe become the best bricklayer there is possible or if you're kind of more on the mental side of things which again doesn't apply to gender maybe you can work within something that can essentially use the most of your talents and obviously you're going to get a very wide spectrum of what it means to be a man because not everyone has the same capabilities as each other and that's why i don't like the whole generalization of it because you're going to get some people that may not seem as you know typically macho or whatever but they're adding value to society they're helping others they're doing good they're living from their heart rather than you know i can beat you up kind of vibes it doesn't always have to be like that as much as it's a, it's a good skill to learn how to fight and things like that it doesn't mean that you have to and i think this whole kind of gender warfare end result hopefully at least is going to be something that's going to be a bit more accepting of one another depending on the skills and talents they have um i feel like initially that is how it kind of started to be about but it just kind of lost its way maybe i don't know i don't really pay attention i just hear a bunch of nonsense sometimes online and i'm just like yo these are real people putting so much energy on the internet that they could be putting into themselves and their craft and what it is that they want out of life but you know everything in life is going to be you know all rosy dandy or whatever the term is called everyone's going to agree on the same kind of level but whatever being a man means to you, keep at it, man. Just don't make it toxic. Just stick to your to your vibes, stick to your you know, your, your gut feeling, help others, and lead by example whilst you're helping others. Alright, let's make it simple. Let's not try and complicate it with all this and that. You know, live a bit more noble with integrity and yeah, because that's that that to be honest, nobility, I'm pretty sure that's a word, it's lost its value nowadays, man. People don't really care about none of that stuff no more. And I'm just there and I'm just like, wow, this is pretty crazy because it should be a trait that, you know, everyone has. Everyone should be humble to some extent. Some extent, I should say. Um, I want to put emphasis on that because 
yeah, if you work hard, you get your rewards. Yeah, you can do whatever you want with it. But again, is that really helping society? Is that really adding value to the world? Is that really contributing to making the planet a better place? Start thinking more like that. Less of a gender divide. And let's actually just make the world a better place. Man, woman, whoever, been dog, cat, whatever you want to choose, man. Alright, see you later. Peace and blessings to you. I'll be back in the next one.